Let's have a question about the, the chicken and the egg, I guess, first. Is it more important to you when you're choosing a movie? Is it more important that the role be interesting or the character be interesting? I tend, really, to only work on things that I'm, I have a kind of compulsion to do. But they um, are so varied. Yes. The roles that we've seen you in so far. Varied. Certainly, they're, they're, they're certainly, the things that most interest me tend to be um, at some distance from my own life, and they tend to be at some distance from the characters that have interested me before as well. I found it interesting uh, reading an article about you where you said that sometimes you felt like the flavor of the month, especially after being in room with a view of my beautiful laundrette back to back, that everybody wanted to talk to you. Um, I know, I think I know where you read that, and, and it's true that the journalist <laughs> got me on a particularly bad day. <laughs> But it's also true that that's not kind of wholly misrepresentative of the way I feel. It's just noise. I don't like noise. I don't like the clutter of, of um, you know, too much of that. And, and because it always distracts you from what you're actually trying to get on and do, which is just, just work on the things that interest you. And um, it is true, of course it's true that with the advent of those two films particularly, and that was as much to do with the coincidence of timing as anything else. Um, in America, they appeared on the same day, in the same, on the same block in, in New York. I don't know what um, period of time elapsed here between the two things. But anyway, it seemed to generate, from my point of view, an unnatural amount of attention. Um, but uh, I don't want to sound ingrateful for the fact that I mean, I get enormous pleasure from people's surprise at that. If people are surprised by the work, then that's fine.